Hey guys, how you all doing? Ali here. In today's video, I'm actually gonna feature a restaurant that was supposed to feature in my Curry Mile video. So, did a video detailing the best restaurants on the Curry Mile. Unfortunately, Al Medina, who you can see behind me, were actually closed during the time, so I couldn't feature them. So I'm super excited to go in and actually go through the menu, show you some of their best dishes. So, let's go cracking. Okay, so I'm inside. I've ordered a fair few dishes, some of the dishes that I really, really enjoy. Just before I do get to the food, I just want to note, actually, on the menu, a few of you have asked where you can find sort of traditional breakfast stuff, sort of dirty traditional breakfast. I've got a video planned uh, which will show you that. However, I did notice they actually do like alba puri here, actually, for breakfast on Sundays. They've got alba puri, they've got nahari, they've got baya as well. So if you're looking for that, just uh, before I start the actual review, I just thought I'd mention they have some dirty breakfast items on Sunday morning. Okay, so the food is here. There's quite a lot of it as well. I've tried to order a few different sort of bits and bobs. I've got the mixed grill, I've got the lamb clay, I really enjoy that. I've got the masala fish, uh, there's a, a garlic naan as well, so I'm just gonna crack on. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go for the mixed grill first. It's kind of like a starter, it's one of my favorite dishes, so let's attack that first. The size of this lamb chop, that's like half the lamb right there. All right, let's give this a go. Really hot, super soft. I feel like I say this a lot in my videos. Whenever I have grilled meat, I always like a decent amount of like char on the meat itself, which this has. Really, really good start to the meal. I'm enjoying these lamb chops. There's a lot of food looking at me here. Let's go for the lamb tikka and the chicken tikka next. I've just had lamb, so I'll go for chicken first. Ooh, let's dip it in some of their chili sauce and there's a bit of yogurt sauce as well. It's a really, really good size mixed grill, actually. It's a little bit expensive, it's 14 50 but you get a decent amount of meat in return. The breast, which is easy to make dry, right? Super soft, really moist, that's delicious. Lamb tikka next. Mm. These guys are knocking the lamb out of the pot. That is delicious. Again, I feel like now I'm saying it like a million times a video, right? But I do love charred meat, but it needs to still be soft, right? The lamb is really good. The mixed grill does also come with wings and it comes with the sea kebab as well. So let's attack those next. Hey man, wings are lightly spiced. They're delicious. I love the seasoning on that. Super soft. Um, we really like the rest of the grill, to be honest with you. It's all been really moist. The meat quality is very high and it's a really decent size as well. Can you guys tell I'm rushing? Because I cannot wait to get to the lamb today and I cannot wait to get to the masala fish as well. I'll be honest, if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm not a massive fan generally of sea kebab, so not here, just in general, I prefer like koftas. Just, I just prefer my mince meat that way, to be honest with you. But I'll give it a go, because I know a lot of you guys are a massive fan of sea kebab, so I've got to try it, right? Let's give it a go. Still not a fan of sea kebab, however, if you like sea kebab, I think you'll enjoy them, because the meat quality is really nice. It's got a really, really good kick to it as well. It's quite tender on the inside. It's got some ginger in there, some coriander in there. That's a pretty good sea kebab, but like you guys know, I'm just not that much of a fan of sea kebabs. All right guys, it's time for that masala fish. It's one of my favorite dishes, point blank. Let's give this masala fish a go, guys. I'm very excited for this one. I'm not sure if the camera's picking up, but it looks really soft. The batter is really crisp. The fish feels very soft indeed. Yo, coming from a massive masala fish fan, that is absolutely delicious. I love the masala batter. Like I said, it's got a really good crisp to it. It's quite well aerated. It's not like thick and stodgy at all. The fish is so soft. That is absolutely delicious. Make sure you get that masala fish if you're coming to Al Medina. The fillets are just absolutely massive. I've got two in a portion. Guys, if you're gonna come here, please do make sure to get this because it is absolutely delicious. I've gotta have a mango lassi every chance I can, guys. That's pretty good. It's decent, especially if you're having like a really hot curry. I asked my lamb grey to be like desi style, so it should have a decent kick to it. I'll be moving on to that grey now, and hopefully this will go really well with the grey. So I've got myself a garlic naan, and I've also got myself a lamb grey. They were kind enough to let me into the kitchen, so I've got a few shots of them actually making the grey, so I'll try and splice that in to this video now. to give this one a go. Yo. You lot know I like heavy amount of seasoning, heavy amount of salt, spice, lots of flavor. This is just jam packed full of flavor. This is actually the small, they do a small and a large. 
the large actually looks really considerable. That's something that maybe I would have if I was here with like the boys. I'll probably get a large, a few of you would share that, get a couple of naans and a mixed grill. But for one, this small portion is actually pretty big. I have to say this will be enough for two people comfortably. The lamb is really, really tender. Like I said, flavoured perfectly. Can we just take a step back guys and just talk about how nice that fish was? Seriously, absolutely delicious. One of my favourite dishes anyway, so I'm kind of biased, right? I love fish dishes, but that was actually a fantastic masala fish. I was 100% recommend you get that. Guys, even if you're not coming to Al Medina, if you're going somewhere else, just pop by, get that, take it to another restaurant. It's fantastic. These guys have been here for a very long time. I think since 99, I want to say they've been here for a while. They've got a really diverse menu, a ton of other stuff on the menu as well, like they do kebabs. They do different curries, they do maybe biryani, which I'm just not a fan of biryani in general. I'm the only Asian guy that doesn't like biryani, right? I just don't. But definitely make sure to pop down. Like I said, they've got a really, really wide menu. I try to get a few different dishes that I personally enjoy. Do try some of the other dishes, actually, if you are coming. Let me know what you think. Okay, so it's time for my final thoughts, guys. I really, really loved my food. I wish I could have included Al Medina in my best restaurants on the Curry Mar video. Fortunately, I couldn't because like I said earlier, they were closed, but guys, they definitely deserve to be in that video. If you haven't seen that video, I'll include it in the description so you can check it out. But these guys, honestly, fantastic. If you have not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure to do so. When I get to 5K, imagine doing a full menu taste test for Jaiwala. So if you want to see that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. But that takes me to the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, 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 bye.